Hey, welcome. It's Friday. Time for the Friday Daily Chaos Realm. I'm excited. I haven't done any runs yet, but I have seen what we're looking at. We got Potions of Strength today. One of my favorites. I love days with memory. I think I've mentioned that before. I don't know that I've said what I mean by it. I love days where as you move through the floors, there's like naturally evidence of that. This could be Potions of Strength. It could be potions of whatever the one is that increases your health capacity. It can even be things like sealed bone knives, although I don't think that's quite as exciting because that's really only memory of something you accomplished one time. It's great to accomplish, makes the rest of the day easier, but it's not like an ongoing thing that you're adding, whereas potions of strength really are. So this is my favorite. Um, obviously, this means we have to equip barehanded strength, although probably by floor five or six today, we're just gonna have a ridiculous attack power. I've already got the full heal going on, definitely want that. What else do we have happening today? No poisonous enemies, at least not for us. Nothing we can do about the cursed ducks. Not really a reason to equip wealth or anything, because it's just diamonds and greed, and neither of those are affected by wealth or wants or anything like that. We don't even have regular swords. Um, so I guess we're just gonna go with some things like swiftness for sure. Uh, maybe get healed extra, but I don't like doing the, you know, chances that the potions will heal us double when we just don't have that much capacity. I guess I could Equip card of life. I could go with something like burning steel, but probably I'm going to be breaking weapons pretty quickly no matter what. So it may be better. Oh, wait. Escalation, right? Yeah. Let's do escalation. I've already seen today, actually. So again, I haven't run through it yet, but I have checked the high scores. And zigzag sector. Well done. Way up. Um. I think almost doubling, maybe not almost doubling, but quite a bit ahead of the second place score right now. So it'll be interesting to see. I've, and I don't know if we're gonna be able to maximize our gold that much, because we only have level one. I only have level one equip. Um, what do I want? I don't really want to equip a weapon token. I think I'm just gonna go with some extra potions. Maybe we've got the card of strength, so maybe we get lucky and get an extra potion of strength, kind of increase our health early, or our barehanded attack early. All right, I'm feeling good. Let's go in. Let's see what happens. Oh my gosh, a 13 duck on row one. Now we do have swiftness, but that doesn't stop us from being cursed. Mm, and I would go with the, uh, the little three pig but I can see the pile above him is pretty tall. I hate to waste greed early though. Maybe I'll get rid of this guy. Sure. Excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the trophy. Now when I pick up this blade, anything that is currently even, I'll be able to get. And if I can get something that costs me health, I can get these other, ooh. No, never mind. All right, so I'm gonna go three, four, and then I'll be at five, but I still won't have taken a hit. So the question is, do I want to take out this guy with my current weapon and break it? And I think the answer is no. Because I'm reasonably sure I'll take damage from something at some point. Three, four. Don't want to waste the diamond. Five. Six, seven, eight. Hmm. I 
really hate being cursed. I also hate wasting health. And it doesn't look like we're going to get any potions of strength on this floor. I don't know if we just kind of got unlucky with the um, RNG or what. We have a diamond next to, you know, the increasing potion. So it'd be nice to leave that there. But I'm having trouble seeing how I'm going to get out of this room. Gosh, I really don't want to be cursed. I think I'm going to pick that one up. I'm so close to being able to take out those ducks. Maybe just go ahead and get rid of that diamond. Now, if that's seal, that would be nice, though I'm still not strong enough to take on the ducks. If it's hunger, I can get strong enough, but also it won't matter. If it's vitality, you know, vitality is the worst anyway. Now, here's the dangerous thing. If I take out these potions, and I don't see more enemies, I see more weapons, I just kind of wasted that seal scroll. Okay. Nice. Oh. I'm so close to being able to take out those stupid ducks. Wasting a lot of health. Please. Yes. Love the feed spur. Just mow him down. Ah, the weapon barrier. Man, a sealed feed spur at 21. Is there a way around this? I could just get super lucky, and behind this health is a hunger scroll that I then use to turn all of those into hunger. That seems relatively unlikely. I have this. What are you? Are you Shuffle, maybe? I don't see how Shuffle would help me, though. So even if it were Shuffle, I don't think that would help. And if it's Forge, I don't really want to waste it. Or for that matter, if it's Requip, I don't really want to waste it. I think I've got to give up the Feed Spur. And save that health if I need it. So I'm going to pick this up. I don't feel good about um, my score so far, so I may need to come back later to maximize for gold. Or this run may end, I don't know. So the problem now with that duck is I can't pick up anything else that will probably be useful for it. I could hope that this is Forge and take out the duck that way. Or I could just get cursed. You gotta get cursed sometimes. Although I really hate it. I'm gonna try and avoid being cursed. I don't like being cursed. Now here's something interesting. Probably at some point I want to equip a feed spur. But if I try and take out the pigs with a feed spur, they grow because my feed spurs aren't large enough. If I pick up this one, though, it's a problem because either blade I pick up, I'm going to cause the blade to change to that same parity, even or odd. Am I recording? I don't know. Am I recording? Yes. Okay. That's very good. Would have been bad if I'm not recording. Um, I think I'm going to try and take them out. Wait, wait. 
this way. Eighteen? Is that a... Oh. Escalation. Here's open. Ugh. Okay. Well, obviously I'm definitely getting cursed. So the question is how can I make the most of it? Pick up this feed spur. Take those guys out. Is it time to re up on health yet? Probably. Six. Both even, that's bad luck. And twelve. Now I can't take that guy out. Although I can pick up this weapon. Okay. So I'm going to break my feed spur on one of the pigs. Doesn't matter which one, I suppose. Pick up this weapon. Take out the duck of the matching parody. And I guess the pig. I think I'm going to leave the room with that nine feed spur. There's really not much I can do about that. So I'm going to take out the larger duck and break my weapon. Pick up the 10 feed spur. Oh, but that does mean I can't take out the 10 duck without taking the hit. But I've got plenty of health on the board, so I'm going to take the hit. And then... I guess pick up the larger of the health. Gosh, that's unlucky that both of those are even. Not much I can do. And I can't really take damage to get the pig to be nine. So I'm going to break this on the curse duck. I d if w I'm sorry I'm going so slow with curses. I just always worry. And then, I think I can just go 8, 2, 1, 15, 9, right? Those are all different. Yeah. 8, 2, 1, 18, 9. No potion is of strength yet. Again, I don't know if that's just random or... If that's how the first floor is going to work all day. So this vitality or hunger... Again, I don't really want to waste health early if I don't have to. So maybe the diamond? Ugh. I can't believe those are both even. Here's hoping hunger. Yes. Now, it would have been nice if I had turned that health to an odd number before I did that but at least this lets me get out of here a little bit. Yeah, here we go. Ooh. That was a wasted diamond. So the reason I went there is that I was hoping I would just kind of get lucky with an odd, and that I'd be able to keep using this feed spur, but I don't see how that's going to work out. And again, I really don't want to be cursed. I don't know that I'm going to keep this run. There are a lot of cursed ducks early on. I haven't taken damage yet.
Take the damage. No, no, I don't have to take damage. Lower the duck. Gotcha. Odd. Even. Odd. Even. Odd. Even. Got a little lucky there. Do I waste the diamond now? I still haven't taken damage on this floor. Barehanded strength is now at a four. Do I waste the weapon or do I hope to keep it going? I think I want the weapon to keep going. And it's not going to. Not gonna cooperate. Okay. Huh, how am I gonna take you out? Which weapon is this going to re-equip? The 9? Or did I pick something else up? But even if it's the 9, I can't avoid getting cursed. I hate getting cursed. I don't know. Here's what maybe I can do. Oh, did I pick up something that was a 4? I was hoping that was a 9. At least I can lower them a little bit. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to get cursed. I don't really see a way around it. An escalation. Again. Thought, oh, I'm going to be able to take him out at 8. That didn't happen. That's not what I meant. That is upsetting. could just leave this room. I'm almost done. What do I need to pick up? A 5, a 10, and some health? But what if I'm leaving behind potions of strength? Both six and nine hurt me right now. I guess take the duck out. There's a potion of strength. I want that. Okay. That's kind of unfortunate, because to take out the volcano, I reduce that feed spur to five, which is a cursed value for me right now. Gotta do it. Maybe you pick up the nine... Go for the 13. Okay. Not so bad. Man, that's lowering that feed spur quite a bit. Do I even want to carry that? What's my health at? What's my barehanded strength at right now? An 8, right? 3 goes to 4 goes back down to three, so I think I just gotta break it. Pick up the four, take out the seven. All right, not terrible. Maybe I won't throw away this run. Please no ducks, please no ducks.
At least I'm strong enough now. And I can kind of pick on the ducks without it being a problem. Don't really want that weapon around, so I'm happy to poison it. Hate to lose a diamond. Man, I could go for some health right about now. I mean, I guess what I mean is I could specifically go for a potion of strength. Excuse me. Hey, look at that. Okay, that's nice. I don't want to poison that... What are they called? Potion of Patience, of course. I could... I guess this gains me one health. Rather than take the hit of three, I took a hit of two. Poison, you stupid duck. I guess go ahead and get the Potion of Patience. Although, again, I'd love to see another... Potion of Strength somewhere. Oh my gosh, the Hoarder's on three today? Is the Hoarder really gonna be in one of these two piles right at the exit? Come on. So this is clearly not the gold maximizing run. Oh, and there's a potion of patience there that I want so badly. Alright, well I have to go up here. Maybe I will get lucky. Maybe... Yes! Okay, so I get to keep the potion of patience. I do need a break this though. Okay. How do we want to do the rest of this? That is wild that that's where the hoarder ended up. And so early today, 4-3 on a Friday. And Escalation, I forgot about again. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter as much now that I have this nice... ...barehanded strength. I do hate to miss out on the bonus. I don't really see... There's no way I can take a hit of 99, right? Plus, I don't have a forge trophy or, or a scroll or anything. So, I'll have to give it a shot later. Alright, we've got good strength. How quickly can we get out of here? Make him drop down a little bit by picking up an even weapon. Break said weapon. Careful not to waste the Trophy of Greed. So I really have not gotten to use Escalation much at all. Hmm. Ugh. I normally like the Diamond plus Greed combo, but again, it's not really worked out well for us today. I'm going to have to lose this Greed Trophy anyway. I'm going to stop there. Ugh. I'll tell you what, the Volcanoes plus Greed, that's kind of a tough combo. And uh, I've experimented with this before, so I'm reasonably sure this will happen. Well, maybe I'll show you, it doesn't matter. So, let's say you're thinking, hey, I could take this guy out as long as I could get the greed trophies above one, right? So if I'll just pick up this diamond, now they're two. Oh, it did work. Oh, I guess maybe my earlier experiment was wrong. I thought I tried that once before, and it didn't work, but it did. All right, let's try to get to the exit and just take a little bit of an advantage of escalation plus greed. Come on. Can I 
get another wispy willow and maybe get lucky? No. Of course not. I could seal something. I don't really see how that matters. had been paying attention, I would have picked up the feed spur first. I mean, I'm gonna break it anyway, but at least I would have made it one larger. Alright, how quickly can we get through here? There we go. There's that unarmed strength coming. That's not good. Okay, how do we want to manage this? Unarmed strength's at 22. And I don't want to reveal anything next to that because it's bad enough as it is. I think the best thing I can do is go ahead and double up and then just take the hit. I wish it were a trophy day. Maybe I can finally get a decent... Um, escalation on these greed trophies. Is there a way to get in there? No. All right, now what do I pick up? 13, I think, because it's not connected to anything. And I suppose it doesn't really matter. Alright, not bad. Definitely not going to approach Zigzag Sector, that's for sure. At least not on this run. It is nice to have those two-faced guys around on a barehanded strength day, because they actually make breaking weapons so easy. start using hunger, shouldn't I? Alright, what do we got going on here? Let's get rid of vitality. Let's pick up that hunger. The problem is hunger and greed don't make for a great combo. Mm. If we are going to use hunger, we just want as many things exposed as possible. trying to open things up as much as possible. I think that's about as good as I'm going to do. Now the question is, I do have these potions of patience I could get let get a little larger for hunger, just so long as I don't... Um, oh, we could also escalate, right? just don't want any piles to go off screen that aren't replaced by at least one other pile. And I do want to increase things as much as possible. Though I want to be careful about taking a hit now that I'm holding a weapon. This is pretty good. I'm going to go for it. Alright, what's my lowest thing that'll break this weapon? Lowest even is 20? Yeah. 
I do want to be careful. I forgot. I don't have that much barehanded strength, so I'm taking hits on several of these. It would be nice not to die after having put all this work in. If I don't want to die, I should probably be more careful about picking up potions of patience so early. See, this is where those two-faced guys are so helpful. Alright, we can get that just a little bit larger. We also have vitality we could use if need be. Looks like it's not going to be necessary. Alright, here we go. Final floor. Don't we still have one more hunger? open up the floor as much as possible. And there's no reason to completely waste greed. Nine dies with a four. Not every day that you just completely waste a seal because it's more annoying than anything else. Alright, this is about as good as I'm going to do. I could escalate, I suppose. See? Just not paying attention. Not the gold maximizing run for sure. But at least I know if I go again. Floor 3. Early on a Friday. Maybe I won't have to pick that up. Alright. Let's go. Got the Glorb. That's what I want on this count. I want to get the Glorb. Sure. Keep it. Um, 1700's not bad. What does that put us at? Top 10? No, not top 10. Um, just outside. So we will definitely want to take another run at this later. But, yeah, there you have it. That's your Friday Chaos Realm Daily. I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you all around.